Jamin here. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. I'm excited that you're here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a video from ILHC 2022. It's two really incredible dancers, uh, Bianca and Felix. Now, Bianca normally dances with her partner, Niels, and many of you all know that, but I'm interested to see how she performs with someone else other than her partner. And that's really rare when you can see special performances that are just really incredible done by partners that normally would not dance together. So I'm excited to see this one. But before we get into that, make sure you check out my Street Smart Swing membership below. There's so many great benefits for being a part of my community online. I give you personal coaching where you guys can send me videos and I can give you feedback on your dancing. Plus you get access to all of my content. Every single week I post a new course up there in the channel for you exclusively. So I'm excited for you to check that out. So make sure you do that. Let's get right into this. I'm excited and I wanna give you guys my thoughts right after this. Next up, next up, we have Bianca and Felix. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. This performance was a real surprise. Not only did these dancers surpass my expectations, but they did it in a way without doing anything original. That's not a like a backhanded compliment. It just proves my point that great timing can trump creativity because it allows the audience to connect the music to something visual. One of the reasons I feel this performance really stands out is because of Felix. Normally he has so much to say in his dancing on a rhythmic level and that sometimes overshadows his partner. But this is not the case here. He fundamentally recognizes that his partner is really his equal when it comes to displaying a certain kind of performance energy. I mean, if you watch their body of work, they both have a lot to say visually and it takes a real gentleman to pull back a little bit and allow his partner to shine. Him doing this made them both actually look better. Now, Bianca, she did exactly what I wanted her to do. She made me pay more attention to her more than Felix, and I'm a leader. She knew when it was the perfect time to embellish the music as if she wrote the song. And yes, a lot of dancers can do this, but not everyone can do it in a way where it doesn't become redundant. There are so many good moments here where she just could have done too much and she didn't do that. I gotta say, I'm really surprised. I also have to bring up that this performance again proves my point. Both of these dancers have a boogie woogie background and are now doing Lindy Hop. Now they didn't do a whole lot of fancy moves that would be 
normally indicative of a, a boogie woogie performance, but they performed good boogie woogie timing cues that made their Lindy Hop performance look more entertaining. And not every boogie woogie dancer that gets in a Lindy Hop can do that. I will say that this was a perfectly balanced performance and knowing the extensive dance catalog from these two, I have a newfound respect for both of them. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.